Welcome to a very special episode of Wishtree Tech, where we buy questionable items from our favorite retailer, Wish.com. Let's see what we've got this time around, shall we? It's probably gonna be disappointing and terrible. Okay, they have a $5 Fire TV stick, but it is, wait, it's an actual Fire TV stick for five bucks? Wait, 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 wait. It's the remote, it's the remote. I'm not gonna buy a $700 motherboard or whatever I spent last time again. No, 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 see? I'm gonna read the descriptions and look at all the photos, not just be like, ooh, that sounds like a good deal. Add to cart. I mean, I sometimes do that, but I'm, I'm gonna do better to not do that today. Super mini wireless Bluetooth speaker, portable small pocket gift, small speaker, portable wireless TWS base, Bluetooth small sound. I mean, this thing looks tiny. <laughs> Our sizes, black, red, random color. I mean, that's my kind of size, is random color. Uh-oh, here we go. The Huey Mate 40 Pro. Not the Huawei, the Huey. Yikes. I think they just took a bunch of Huawei slides and they just Photoshopped a bad camera module on the back. Although I'm not sure why there's a girl on all of the, okay, whatever. I think I'm gonna regret this. I think this is gonna be one of those classic things where I buy some cheap knockoff phone and it's terrible. But every once in a while, these things are good. We did a video on This Is, taking a look at a very decent, convincing fake of the iPhone 11 Pro. So I'm gonna keep trying these things and hoping I get lucky. Okay. Uh, I found an Xbox Series X, $1,100. But express shipping for $399 will get it here in a few days. So do I wanna spend over double retail on an Xbox Series X from Wish? Oh. Uh, did they have PS5? The PS5 Wish? The Wish Edition PS5? All right, what happens when I search PS5? A gun shows up. Just a gun. That's what you use to get your PS5 at the store. Oh God, they have it. They have a digital edition PS5 for $1,100. Oh, digital? That's almost three times the price. I'd be better on StockX right now. I like how there's one review from Timothy. I have not received it yet, but Wish is a good place to shop from. Thank you guys. <laughs> Look, after last time, I got ripped off on Wish. I should know better. I should find quality items to give you guys an entertaining few minutes of your day while you're chilling on YouTube. I should not spend a lot of money on Wish and cry afterward. I'm gonna add it to the card right now. Cool. Uh, well, while I cry about my PS5, there's a Switch. And by Switch, I mean it's a PSP knockoff that has red and blue colors. For GBA Classic Games. See, I'm reading. Are you proud of me right now? I'm actually reading the listing. I'm looking at the photos right now. Do you think I have Pokemon cards on Wish? Look it up. Oh, they do. They do. Hello, they have fake Pokemon, I mean, <clears throat> Pokemon cards. When I pull up Evolution, it's showing 324. Maybe these are cards? Are these packs? What am I getting? All right, I'm just gonna, 27 bucks, I'm just gonna buy this. What? This is a VR headset for Switch. So I know that there is some very limited virtual reality support on the Switch. I have never tried it, but I could find out for 16 bucks. Is it just a plastic headset? Oh yeah, you just drop it straight in, that's it. I'm just buying this, I'm just buying this. So the grand total right now is $1,600. However, when I use my promo code, it drops to $100 off. Oh. Well. It's $100 off your $1,100 <laughs> Okay. Hello and welcome back to Wish Tree Tech, where we now have the Wish Tree Tech items for this Wish Tree Tech episode. Is it time to finally shoot while I'm on? <laughs> You know, I should have seen that coming, but I didn't. At least it was soft. Oh. It's always nice when it's soft. Ah. All right, there's a label on here. I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm just gonna open it right up. No, be careful with that. Yeah, actually, I, yeah. Look, on the outside, no, 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 it's, it's two layers. I can, if I cut like this, it'll be fine. I don't like the idea that you're next to me though. Yes. I, I understand there's something soft in here. I'm not just gonna rip into it. What do you think I am? Ken? I think you're you. Did I order a dinosaur costume? Did. So here's the thing. It takes so long to get your hands on stuff from Wish that we shot the ordering section of this video well over a month ago and I've completely forgotten what we've got here except that this is a dinosaur costume. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna wear this for the segment and it's definitely coming off. First of all, let's confirm that this is actually gonna work. Woo! So 
So where does the fan go? Attaches to my back somewhere. No, but there's a hole here. Yeah, it goes in the hole and turns. There's no other hole. Just find the hole, Ken. Ken, you should know how to find the hole by now. Yeah. Why am I always talking about? Oh. Oh, I'm starting to feel things. Oh, he's fill oh, look, oh, it's filling up now. Look, look. Oh, oh. Also looking kind of thick down here. Am I a dinosaur yet? Oh, it's getting there. Yo, oak, oh! <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, we're out here. We're oh, out here. I haven't reached my final form yet. Mm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yes. Yes. I've conquered Roboraptor finally. I have absorbed his power and become Mega Raptor. <laughs> Feel my power. Wait, there is another. Remember me! Your legacy will live on as uh, what will drive our cars in millions of years. Drive electric vehicles! Save the dinosaurs! Something hard, just the way I like it. What do we got here? Oh, the fake... Wait, is this a fake PSP? How dare you insinuate that it might be fake? All right, let's see what we've got. Oh my goodness, that is a, that is a Switch Vita hybrid if I've ever seen one. Wow. That's uh, that's something else right there, I will tell you. So, I actually don't hate how that I looks. mean, here, you don't, you don't hate it? Listen to this. It's very, like, it's Hold not on. so much cheap feeling, but it's very hollow. Look, it's, that's actually just printed on the plastic. No, no, it's literally, they took a fake Vita and then they printed it blue and red, like with like, I don't know, a pen or something. And now it's a, it's a switch. I can't see anything at the view angle terrible. <clears throat> Ironically, it looks kind of okay. For yeah, I was this gonna, is what I see. Oh, never mind. Yeah, this, like, this is what oh. I see. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to look at it like this. So you guys can clearly see what's going on, right? Are you balding the back? No, what, excuse me? What? Oh, shit. What? Where? Wait, wait, wait. Zoom the camera in. Zoom the uh, camera in. Yeah. I mean, we'll just let you be self-conscious. No, no, no. Where, where am I balding? Yeah. Am I balding? That's a spot. No. Like, hold on, wait. What? Like, like, like. No, what? No, no, no. Like, like, right there. No, no, no. That's not me. I'm, I'm. I mean, that, that's where I'm you're. I'm lost and we'll have hair forever. That's where Papa Austin started balding too, right? Here I am. Welcome to adulthood. All right. Oh. <laughs> nice Nintendo Switch noises. Uh, that speaker is loud. Classic, it's loud. I can turn it down. No, that I'm impressed. I can turn it up. Yeah. Okay. What? Wait. What? Is this fire red? This is clearly a fire red leaf green ROM hack. Oak. It's all in Chinese, so I can't read any of it. You know, for as much as you go to that part of the world, you'd think you'd learn some of it. You sound like my wife. All right, this is just a ROM hack. Um, what else do we have? Super Mario 1. I mean, that's like, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. This is exactly what every one of these little emulator things are. It's vaguely usable, and if you think about it as a $50 product, it's terrible. But at least we get a pair of headphones included in the box. And our TV cable. Just saying. <laughs> you wanna try that one again? All right, 
Next item is a portable speaker. Oh, this is the world's smallest dumb speaker from Dumbtown. All right. Small and portable, delicate and exquisite. Three watts strong burst makes sound quality restore more real, natural, good decorative effect. It can be decorated in a your love car. It can be hung around necklace, necklace in any place. It's a delicate decoration. Wow. I don't like love car as a thing. Matt, you just need to decorate your love car. That's what I call the Scion IQ. You're not doing a lot of love in that car. That's very, very little. I mean, you make do with what you <laughs> There's $12 with $7 in shipping. That looks not worth it. Oh, surprise, it's a speaker. All right, let's fire it up and see how well it sounds. This is max volume, which is quite loud. Okay, we can't listen to it at max volume. It's just way too much. It distorts a lot. Yeah. It actually doesn't sound terrible for the totally size. Totally fine. I mean, it's not a massive improvement over your phone speaker. I mean, like imagine you hang that from your backpack, yeah. right? It's not bad. All right. I, 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 there's a package there, I should just throw it. Oh. Oh, is this what I think it is? You ordered these! All right. <laughs> Instantly devalued. What about my PSA 10, Ken? Oh, get the fuck out of here right now. How much did I pay for this? How much did I pay for this? Uh, $38. Okay. For reference, an Evolutions booster box goes for somewhere between five to six hundred dollars right now. Let's put our Leonhardt hats on and investigate. The print quality on the top does look odd. Also, that doesn't look like enough cards. Wait, is that the Raichu from Pokemon Stadium? Probably. Okay, that seems fine. Okay, well, I'll tell you, they don't usually put the cards in like that. Yo, this shit is wacky. These are fake Pokemon cards. First of all, I don't think these pack arts look particularly authentic. Nothing about this looks right. Josh, can you please show a photo of what this pack art actually looks like? Thank you. All right, oh my God. Okay, you might not be able to tell on camera. I, how do I have any Pokemon cards on me? This yellow is totally off. The colors are so far off. The cards seem a little small. You know, the only authentic thing about these cards is that they're just as off-center as the originals. <laughs> what is this art? What is this art? No. This is not real art. Oh, what the fuck? That is not real art. I wish that was real art. Also, the pull rates are great. So out of one pack, we've got an EX Slowbro, a Blastoise EX, we've got a Machamp Break, and we have a Charizard EX, and a Zygarde EX, and a Starmie. What? I mean, like, what kind of pull rate is that? But I mean, like, if you were trying to sell bootlegs and oh. you had that good pull rate, I'm pretty sure you would just buy more bootlegs. Here you go, Matt. Open some Pokemon cards. Got a Tangula, a Blastoise EX. But this one actually says Caterpie. Wait, wait. Wait, wait let me see. Yeah, it's Caterpie EX. <laughs> Someone copy pasted the card too hard. Wow. We're gonna consult with the Pokemon card expert here. I'm currently talking with Leonhardt right now. Oh, okay. Newsflash, this is not weird. Leon knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yep, he's seen these. These are just, it's a Chinese reprint set. Uh, they're a knockoff. <laughs> All right. The Pokemon master himself has spoken. Okay. It, it might be fun, but not. It might be fun, but not, is what I just heard. Okay, well, let's get into the next item, shall we? What is this? Oh, is this the fake Huawei? Oh, right, this is the fake me. Oh my goodness, okay. Just like all my girlfriends. All right, so it makes it look like we have five cameras, like a certain Huawei product. However, there can, there's pretty clearly one camera and a bunch of fake ones. 
like these are all 100% not real cameras. Can I interject for a second? Please do. I've never seen this on Wish.com. Okay, go ahead. So clicking on the, the product, yeah. I get the message, oops, this product is under content review by the Wish team. Please stay tuned. Are you, are you telling me that they finally found the one counterfeit product on Wish? Out of all the years of Wish Street Tech, we got them, boys. We got them. Got them. Oh my god, I hate everything about this one. Oh, the, oh. What's upsetting is I really Oh, hard. do you want fuel, fuel? That's the most disgusting thing I've touched in like a solid five minutes. That's a high bar. Oh, what the fuck? It's like sandpaper. Also, I love the, uh, you see this? The, the ice cream sandwich uh, bottom no. bar. No, 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 no. You're not telling this me right is, now. We literally have gone back like eight years. No! <laughs> Yo! I have not seen this. Oh, no. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, it's Android 10. It's fine. It's Android 10. You know, this is how Android 10 looks. They definitely like like modded this to say 10. There's no way that that's 10. Absolutely no way. Yo, that's hilarious. God. Um, also, can I just direct your attention to our uh, notch, right? So we have our little uh, teardrop notch, which is just clearly a bezel in the real front-facing cameras right beside. This is clearly a crappy old phone that they repackaged to try to look like a Huawei. I wouldn't be surprised if we snapped off this case. Oh, it comes off. I'm taking this one personally. Also, again, we have we have actual better tools. Okay. Like a tool for that. It's okay. Literally within our reach of you. It's, right it's now. okay. We're fine. That is not. You just broke that. I love how it broke itself before it broke my card. But okay. I don't think this is supposed to come out, Nelson Evans. Well, we're opening it up now. Oh, got it. Got it. Oh yeah, there it is. It doesn't look terrible on the on the on the inside. Do I have to? Can we just not take a photo with it? Just take one photo and then we'll be go. Uh, God, one photo so and we're out. Trash. It's so bad. All right, say cheese. Cheese. There we go. All right, selfie time. Selfie time. That flash. Did it? <laughs> that was that was such a poor attempt. <laughs> Look, if you're here for a review of this thing, this ain't it, Chief. That's not how you use that thing. Every time you use no, 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 no more items. I need to recover my 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 chi. I said no more items. I need to get over the mediocrity to make some content here. All right. But that's, giving more items does that. No, cause, oh. oh, this stupid thing. All right, all right, this might be mildly okay. I could say. <laughs> so this is a VR headset for ye old Nintendo Switch. Now, that might sound crazy, However, there are actually a few games that do support the Switch with VR. I think Zelda comes to mind, right? There's a Zelda, uh, is it? Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, but how do you, hmm. wait. Do we have a Switch with Breath of the Wild? We have a Switch. Okay, let me rephrase. Do we have a Switch with any VR game on it? Maybe. Probably not. So, because we are not prepared, we'll be right back in the future with an actual game for the Switch VR, which I'm sure will be wonderful, high quality, and not disappointing in any way. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I almost opened it. Eight years old and above. Well, unfortunately, I'm not old enough to use this product, but I won't tell if you don't tell. Wait, that sounded bad. Anyway, so, there's nothing to this. <laughs> there was a trend in like the 2013, 2014 kind of range where there would be all of these VR headsets that took advantage of your phone. And while a lot of these were kind of cool as like your very first taste of VR, they generally sucked. 
So why not do it with the Switch? The hardware here is incredibly simple. I mean, it's just a couple of lenses and it's just very close focusing. So if I swap in Odyssey, I'm gonna experience the full VR wonder of the Switch, right? Playing in VR. All right, we found it. Ugh, okay. Who has a head this small? What the? This is so uncomfortable. Wow. Okay. I'm ready. Put me in. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is working. Wow, it is very blurry. And the thing is, so typically with a VR headset, you're going to use something like an OLED display or something, which has very low pixel persistence, which essentially means that the screen is very sharp from frame to frame. So as you move around, you see that, I mean, it does track relatively well. But the problem is, is that it's just not sharp, right? I'm probably spoiled because I've used proper VR headsets such as Oculus, such as Vive, such as PSVR, such as Google Cardboard. Okay, it's not amazing. This is cool if it was 2015 again. Oh, I forgot about this. So when we were ordering earlier in the episode, I spent a lot of money on a PS5 from Wish. Lee, why is there a piece of tape on there? Do you, do you, do you see it? Oh, Did you tamper with this PS5? Did you, did you? No? Could it be me? That shit is not packed well. What is... Okay. <laughs> Why is it wobbling so much? This is not what a PS5... <laughs> Ken, are there three rocks in this PS5 box? There should have been five. Yeah, the, uh, the, as you expected, the Wish PS5 never came in. They shipped us rocks instead of the PS5? Wait, you you put the rocks in here. Hello and welcome to my unboxing review of the Sony PlayStation Rock. It has features such as You got us a refund? Yes. Is that how you bought the rocks? No, I got those outside. Um, but people clicked on the video, so we made our money back. Are you trying to tell me that it all worked out in the end? And this is a happily ever after story and I now have three rocks to go along with the USB rock to make my life feel better? Not for the audience, but for us. 